And that can have a huge benefit when you're trading in the real markets right now. And you've got someone who you trust. If you do trust someone who's been correct 81% of the time, which is a pretty good number, you've now got open trading data on how they're perceiving markets at this very moment, which is really cool. Excellent. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Trav. How's everything been? Hey, it's been going well. It's been going well. The overall sentiment in crypto has been a little bit more stressful than usual, but you know, after being able to look at the sentiment dashboard on a daily basis, I feel like where I'm at now compared to one year ago, Trav, is quite a bit more at peace with all of this, mostly thanks to you guys. So I'll ask the question back at you, my friend. How are you? How's it been going on on your end? Yeah, things are good. You know, we're obviously working on uh, getting as many top metrics and both on the on-chain side and sentiment side uh, out to our community as possible. And we're, we're getting there slowly but surely, you know, just like your own personal experience uh, at Sandmint, we're, we're constantly learning uh, what the community needs and, and wants and also what they maybe don't care about as much. So, um, you know, we've made a lot of traction on the social space in particular, and that's going to be kind of what we're talking about today. Um, using a tool like SanR in order for uh, users to be able to learn objectively what other you know expert traders are doing and how they're perceiving the markets as well as how they can use the tool like sanr to make crypto themselves um, for correctly predicting the markets um, without having the same risk as uh, a real trade that they would have to make on an exchange i mean it's other than the gas fees there's no cost to sanr other than being able to spend the time and and learn about you know how others are are perceiving the markets and how you can make better trades yourself so I'm excited to jump into it with you today. Likewise, my friend, likewise. And I got to say, just from my, my short exposure to Sanar, it's, um, I think it's just what exactly what so many people out here need right now. It's a low consequence, high return uh, platform that just adds so much value to any, any trader out there, whether you're already established, you're already at a, at a high level um, performing on a consistent basis, or even if you're just, just beginning in this space. So we've kind of teased that as to what exactly Sanar is, it's, it's another tool uh, released by Santiment. So what all of my viewers know firsthand about Santiment is your main tool, Sandbase, which is just so many incredible on-chain metrics um, that are presented in a easily consumable, um, highly valuable way. Uh, but this tool here, SanR, is something completely different. Can you give us a quick breakdown on what exactly it is? 100%. So essentially this app lets traders predict market movements on the platform and also be able to build up your reputation over time as you do so. So uh, when you make a prediction, each one of those are recorded permanently on the blockchain in the form of, of an NFT, which prevents tampering in turn. So um, some of you may have already heard of copy trading models out there on centralized platforms, but these don't offer the ability for uh, us to really fact check what the influencers are doing versus what they're saying on their posts. There are many very reputable, honest, influencers out there that you may follow, but there's also a lot that do not really, they are very forward with what they are predicting on the markets. In fact, some have actually been caught doing the opposite of what they say they're expecting on the markets. So um, really what SanR sets out to do is give a platform that provides honest and transparent feedback as to how people are predicting markets because they want to actually win the crypto prizes that we give out every couple of weeks, right? They're not going to lie about how they are viewing the markets when they have real money to earn. And um, we're joining, you know, current social five platforms like friend tech um, in, in basically duplicating this model and giving people the opportunity to monetize their trades without the risk of losing outside of the gas fees that it costs. So uh, to us, it's kind of a win-win, whether you're an expert trader who wants to grow your reputation and earn some money while you make some great predictions, or you're just a novice trader who wants to learn and follow along um, and, you know, maybe occasionally hit the bullseye and get rewarded for it. Uh, there's, there's an opportunity for everyone on the platform to earn some real money and, um, uh, grow both your wallet and your reputation in the process. hundred percent. And I think, thank you. Right. First of all, thank you so much for that explanation here. That really paints an awesome picture of, uh, of this project and its, its capabilities and opportunities that it presents to us all as well here. The way I like to think about it, it's kind of like a combination between a DEX, a, uh, social fi platform as well. Uh, but then also a really solid community environment where people can work together uh, and improve based off each other's performances as well. So I think it's, uh, yeah. it really hammers on three key areas uh, to make kind of the, the mission of SanR so much more powerful here. So I've actually got it pulled up here and just to introduce to everyone here, our plan today is 
being a relatively new user of Sanar, I'm going to pull up my own profile and then Brian here is going to walk me through step by step, you know, lay the land, get to know each feature, and then we'll actually dive into some specific use cases so that you can see firsthand, you know, the true power of Sanar here. So let's, uh, let's pull it up right now here. Yeah, this will be a lot of fun, Trial. I really appreciate you wanting to do this and kind of showing your own profile through the lens of a, a common user on Santiment. So um, this will be exciting. So okay. we're looking right now at your performance over time. Uh, we talked before the call, you've only made a couple of predictions, which is fine. And we see that based on your performance, you're down, if you highlight that red dot there, um, yeah, about 28% or so, I think, or yeah, yeah. current date, 20 29.8%, which makes sense because it's such a small sample size. And uh, basically week after week or day after day, that is, you can see how your perform performance is going based on all of your aggregated predictions. So maybe we can look at uh, the two predictions you made so far and see how the the total history has come to be negative 29.8% so far. Perfect. So yeah, absolutely. Let's get into it. I have, uh, like you were saying there, Brian, first of all, zero shame or anything along those lines when it comes to my trades. <laughs> I've got two and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own them uh, proudly here. And uh, yeah, here we go. So I've got two. The first one was a Solana position. The other one was an IMX position here as well. The one that I did that I'm most happy with here is the IMX position. So um, how about I open this one up here and we can take a look to see how this one went. Yeah. So it looks like you opened the so, so just to back it out, the, the two options you have, just like a buy or a sell on the exchanges, you have either a sand rise, meaning you're predicting that the, the market is going to rise for this particular asset, or sand set, meaning you're expecting for markets to go down. And Travis opened a sand rise, which uh, resulted in, initially it went up, and then very quickly it ended up dropping down. And that was part of why you ended up getting a, a negative 20% on this prediction. Uh, but maybe you can explain why you initially thought that IMX was going to do well. Um, yeah, whether 100%. it was for sentiment or just a personal feeling, yeah. So there were a couple of things um, in this one here. Uh, this one, mostly IMX, I've, I've never traded IMX before, so I wasn't very familiar with it. Um, one thing from the Sandbase platform, as I know, the developer activity was increasing. Um, the 30 day and 188 80 day MVRV were, were both in the negative. And I also noticed it, this was on a bit more of a, um, a higher time frame here, it's a bounce off the retest of the high of this range. So I entered in right as the volume was coming in off that bounce. And my hope was I would reach um, one of these higher level um, resistance areas. But as we can see, that's not the case in this situation here. Yeah, and I think your justification made perfect sense. You know, the thing with altcoin trades in particular, especially over the last few months, is uh, they're so tied to Bitcoin's performance. And as of this recording, we're actually almost precisely three months after the all-time high hit. And we've seen Bitcoin kind of do this and maybe slightly go down as of late. It's at uh, just right around 67K at the time of recording this. And I'm looking at my chart off of screen. I'm seeing that Bitcoin did take a bit of a tumble during uh this stretch right between the fourth and the 11th now of june uh, bitcoin has dropped about four ish percent or so and that undoubtedly kind of unfairly impacted imx and other altcoins that might have had good reason to rise otherwise 100 percent, yeah and i mean that's something to take into consideration when trading at any point is first of all uh bitcoin often acts like a magnet um, and will direct the entire ecosystem if it has massive swings up or down. Um, the second thing is black swan events kind of come out of nowhere, which as we can see, seem to have happened to me um, on this position, oh, actually on both positions. But um, right now we're looking at this specific one here. Uh, there was a very dramatic dump here on the 7th and kind of looking back as just knowing what happened, that's, that was around when the Mount Gox situation uh, occurred. Basically, a lot of liquidity was exposed to the market. Everything kind of took a dump, and uh, and here we are. Uh, so yeah. definitely a lesson learned there. Any thoughts on, um, you know, this this entire situation or how one might be able to mitigate something like this in the future? Yeah, I mean, I, the for the most part, the most successful traders out there, which I'm not personally one. There are, are a few on the Santiment team that kind of independently trade, and uh, there are plenty of people in our community who who make successful trades, and they primarily wait for markets to be at their most predictable. Uh, oftentimes they'll wait for it to get volatile, but they're still predictable in the sense where you can kind of tell that a, a bounce is going to happen after a dip or a retrace letdown period is going to happen after all the FOMO happens. When you talk about black swan events or, uh, you know, the Mount Gox event, these are the most unpredictable times and probably the times when you don't want to be making predictions because you're basically flipping a coin, uh, 
and not able to use the educational resources and the, the tools and the indicators out there, either on sentiment or otherwise, to, to adequately have an edge. And the thing with trading is you want to wait for the times where your edge can be implemented. And my personal feeling is like, you know, after the FTX collapse, when everyone is fighting the markets and everyone is doubting whether crypto can ever exist because of one of the top exchanges collapsing. These are the times where it actually is predictable because you can see that the entire crowd is leaning one way. Alternatively, when we were at an all-time high three months ago, everyone was FOMOing and saying we're about to hit 100K Bitcoin. That was predictable in the sense where it seemed as though we were getting very close to a top. Huge, you know, longs and funding rates opening up uh, with big margin trades, expecting prices to continue to rise. That's when you're using your edge to be a counter trader and you could, you know, uh, use a, a high probability prediction uh, to predict that markets are about to go down. So I think you were the victim of something that was kind of out of the blue, outside your control, and you just closed it after, if I'm not mistaken, did the time just expire or you closed it manually yourself? Uh, so this one was a stop loss was triggered. And um, okay. actually that's that's one feature that I very much appreciate about SanR is, uh, first of all, you guys have essentially limit orders. I can set a, my entry to trigger once a certain level yep. is hit. But also you guys have the take profit, uh, auto take profits and auto stop losses as well, which is exactly what I did here. I set my stop loss based on uh, my risk to re reward ratio that, um, um, that I usually like to set, which is about two to three to one or so. Um, but then I also based my, uh, based them off of technical analysis as well, which for me is, is kind of the way to go. It's I've, from my own experience, setting take profit, uh, stop losses purely on the like, percentage amount um, has a lower probability of, of, of winning just based on my own trading style. Sure. Um, but to kind of combine the risk to reward ratio with technical analysis definitely seems to, uh, you know, work better for me. And in, in the case of using San R, I love that that functionality is built right. And so that's a, that's a huge win from my perspective. Great point. And yeah, we can see that the stop loss did sell off your bag at kind of its low point, but compared to where it is now, the stop loss actually saved you money because here on the 11th, IMX is even further down because Bitcoin and the entire markets have retraced. So the stop loss in this case helped. And that's what's cool about SanR is you've got all the same exchange tools uh, for trading that you would expect there um, for your mock trades here on SanR. So uh, whether it's taking profit or stop loss, it's all there. And I even see that you used a 3x leverage. So in reality, you dropped about 6.9%. But because you tripled the leverage to, you know, be triple rewarded if you're right or triple punished if you're wrong, that's why you're down at negative 20.8% or so. So again, I, I don't think there's any, any error you made other than being the victim of some bad luck in the markets going down right after you open this, this trade. So I appreciate you sharing it. How about we look yeah. at the other one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll pull it up right now here. All uh, right. So this one I was quite a bit happier with. Same thing happened. I actually placed both of them within an hour of each other. Um, yep. But very similar thesis. You know, there was a high volume bounce off a key area. Yeah, I wrote my rationale down here at the bottom. Market just broke back to the upside. Nice volume on this current move after double bottom on the daily. I also noticed a bullish RSI divergence on the daily, thanks to uh, Sandbase as well. Um, so I felt really good about this one. And unfortunately, similar circumstances here. Uh, my stop loss was triggered after the Mount Gox dump um, on the yep. same day. But at, at, there was a certain point where it got, it was in a really nice level of profit here. And if this, if my um, take profit level was just a little bit lower, um, I, that would have been a successful trade for me. However, um, I am of the mindset of once I set a, a trade, um, which automatically on execution, I all automatically have the stop loss, automatically have the take profit. I will not look at it, not touch it, not adjust it. And uh, just for my own mindset to, uh, to kind of not allow greed and fear to interfere with my, my trading idea. Um, but I'd be yeah. very curious to hear your thoughts on, on any of this here. Yeah, I mean, this trade looks pretty similar, except you started a little earlier and you had uh, an initial success, meaning that the theory on why you, you made this prediction seemed valid. It climbed up for the first couple of hours and then uh, market started to retrace and, and bad luck prevailed again. But I think, you know, especially you putting the notes right there. I mean, it's transparent for everyone who checks out your prediction, why you made the trade that you did. And that's what Sanar is all about, learning and educating yourself based on how others are perceiving the markets. And unlike, you know, seeing a, an influencer post on X about why they did something, this is all right there. It's it's undebatable that you you made the prediction, had a reason for it. 
it's right here as an NFT for anyone to look at at any time. And, and I, I think this is just great data because it over time, as you make more predictions, you can learn from your first few and be like, well, the markets were unpredictable here. Bitcoin went down during this time, which dragged my, my altcoin predictions down along with it. And once you start seeing some successful ones, you can kind of look back at these and smile and be like, look how far I've come. And others can see that about you too. I love that. So a couple of quick questions here for you out off on that there, Brian. So is anyone able to come to my profile to basically look at the screen just as I'm looking at now? So the answer is yes. Anyone can see your profile at any time, just like you can see theirs. And maybe we can segue and, and look at like the leaderboards so we can prove that and, and look at some of the best predictions from all of these Sanar users over the past couple of weeks. Um, Perfect. I'd love to do that. Maybe you can guide me there right now, Brian. So I'm on my, my profile on the Sanar app. Yeah. Can maybe go to the main Sanar page. Just, just click on the Sanar button at the yeah, top left. Um, you can go to launch app. And so this is where you see all of the signals that are being made, just a full timeline as they're coming out. Uh, scroll down. Yeah, so it just keeps on going. And you can go back up to the top. Um, you can go to um, go to closed, click on closed. So this is where you can see how each have performed based on results, not the ones that are currently open, but just overall results. And then you can scroll up again, just to the very top, uh, click on top keys. So these are, these are all of the best performers. They're not sorted by like highest to lowest right now, um, but they are by um, amount one. So, you can see that the percentage of signals in profit in that fourth column over, yeah, that's one of my favorite. You know, if you look at like the seventh person down here, Kitty, she's gotten, or he has gotten 81.2% of their signals in profit. And that's with a sample size of, of 125 different signals. So you can open up their profile if you just hover over their name and you can actually look at every single one of their predictions. This is just the past. Um, yeah, this is all time. If you go up to that, that chart there at the top, okay. these signals only open for a maximum of two weeks and then they'll close on their own because it's part of our, what we call epochs, where it's going to show over time uh, how they did during that specific contest. So this actually shows all of their recent trades over time. And that right column there showing the widget of how each of them performed, they've been right a lot because they've been betting against the markets. You see those down arrows on the left. So that means yeah. they're, they're doing sand set predictions and mm -hmm. all of the green next to them on the far right uh, on the charts. Yeah. Or, or the price returns. Yeah. That shows that they've been correct because markets went down. And when you put a sand set and markets go down, it'll highlight that portion on the chart in green because they're correct. Um, alternatively, if they bet in favor of the markets, uh, and the price goes down, then it would show up in red, like that mm. Bitcoin USD one third down from the bottom. From the bottom, uh, yes. So for the most part, it looks like this person has made a lot of correct predictions because they have anticipated that marks would go down, markets would go down. And up until it looks like the beginning of June, they had been betting mostly against the markets. And now it looks like they're betting in favor of the markets, at least about a week ago when they made their last predictions. So that would tell you, okay, someone who gets 81% of their predictions right, just shifted from betting against the markets to, to being bullish again, betting in favor of the markets. Uh, to me, that's really good information. Doesn't mean they're this guru that's always gonna be correct, but if you're a math person like you and I are, uh, you might benefit from having someone who has a really good track record of being right up suddenly show that their predictions are in favor of the markets instead of against the markets. Uh, and this is why I love Sanar so much. It's just a great way to capitalize and, and educate yourself on, on how other expert traders are perceiving the markets at any given time. That makes a ton of sense. I love it. Uh, um, this is all music to my ears here and I'm really excited to dive into it. So from my own just experience of, of playing around here, just having access to all of this information here is is so helpful and incredible. And being able to see these widgets here on the right of you know where exactly they entered, where exactly they took profit. Um, even just from that alone, skimming through all of this, you can really get a good idea on you know what profitable entry points and exit points might look like you experience. So there's been a couple of traders where I have bought in their keys. Once you do that, then you can actually take a look at their current open orders and you can get like the full breakdowns of, of what those look like. But at this point here, because I haven't bought in their key, I don't have access to that. But if I that wanted to. So, mm -hmm. Exactly. So what you're, what you're essentially doing is you're, you're putting down a, a small purchase, uh, which is very little from my understanding. And then you get access to seeing their real time predictions rather than just their results, the closed predictions. 
So it's basically like, like Sandbase Pro, if you have a membership, you have to see current data rather than just delayed data from 30 days ago. This is the same thing. You get to see their current open predictions rather than just, you know, how they've done in the past. And that can have a huge benefit when you're trading in the real markets right now. And you've got someone who you trust. If you do trust someone who's been correct 81% of the time, which is a pretty good number, you've now got open trading data on how they're perceiving markets at this very moment, which is really cool. I love that. And one thing that's just kind of occurring to me now is when, when I'm actually looking to purchase somebody's keys, there's, you know, things in my mind that I want to make sure align. I want to make sure that they trade similar assets that I'm familiar with so that I can really, you know, leverage this information. I want to make sure that their um, leverage and risk profile is one that kind of matches mine as well. And then of course the, the overall performance is one that's very, very um, crucial. I'm not about to follow anyone who just spams trades left, right, and center and is consistently non-profitable. So from this one here, from everything that I'm looking at, I think Kitty, you know, very much aligns with my own trading style. So I might buy their key right now and let's take a look. Try it out, yeah, show how it works. So all you do is click the buy key button, click on buy. Uh, it would connect to your wallet so that it can actually charge uh, a small amount of coins. You're doing that off screen, which is fine. You gotta have security yes. during these recordings. Um, and then he's confirming the transaction through MetaMask. It's pending. I do officially own one of their keys now. But show what you've now just unlocked um, in terms of accessing Kitty's information as a result of buying this. Let's do it. So yeah, as we can see, I own the key now and for their open signal, I can now see that they are short on Bitcoin. Um, let's see, it was created on February 12th. Wow, that's a, that's a long- That's an season. older one. I'm wondering, because they, they normally are only... Okay, so this is an older order. order. Uh, okay. As you can see, the one above it, where it says open, that mm -hmm. would show anything that's current, which there isn't right now. But gotcha. I imagine, you know, they're, they're quite active. You'll see some new prediction from them likely pop up very soon, and that would show up in the open page. That makes a ton um, of sense. So if we did want to take a look at that, I do own a couple of different keys here. Um, yeah. If we go back to the feed, go to my subscriptions. This individual here, I own one of their keys. They went long on uh, Cardano and it's currently open. Let's have a look at it here. Oh, he's got a 10X. So he leveraged 10X and he's down about 6.9%, which means it's actually about 69% down. So he's getting crushed as of now, but he opened this yesterday. He could easily just let it ride. And assuming there's a market bounce, you know, while he's leveraged 10X, that negative number may end up being much smaller and closer to even when this is all said and done, if he still has confidence in his trade. 100%. And what I'm really appreciating here is, first of all, I have their trading thesis right here in front of me, CVD making new lows with price making high lows, aggressive selling um, in that market by retail, and it's being absorbed by big traders. And what that is actually factual, I know compared to the rest of the market right now, Cardano, while it's still dropping, it's dropping quite a bit less than a lot of the other major assets right now. So I would be curious to see where this goes. I'm also noticing they don't have a stop loss and don't have a target in place here. Um, and that all SANR signals close after a specific amount of days. So I'm guessing it's two weeks. Is that about right? Correct. Yeah, we have two week contest. So after two weeks, you tally up who had the best percentage gains overall with all their predictions and they win free crypto. I'm guessing that he's just going to let this ride. We'll see how it goes, but it's amazing that he actually, he gave comments as to why he made this prediction. You get to read them. He's, I know Land Paul, he's very active in our, in the sentiment discord and is always talking about counter trading opportunities. He believes strongly in uh, going against the grain. So if everyone is fudding a certain asset, like Cardano has been fudded quite a bit, uh, he's someone who, who will be bold and say, okay, I'm going to bet against the crowd and actually long Cardano. And that's exactly what he's doing here. So obviously right now, because all markets have gone down, you know, he's, he's getting some bad luck because of that. But assuming Bitcoin rebounds to like 69K or 70K sometime next week or so, this could end up looking like a really good trade because so many people are shorting and selling Cardano right now, meaning it has a higher probability of going up and uh, rewarding him for going against the crowd's, you know, unanimous expectation. That makes a ton of sense. I, um, that's, yeah, that's fascinating. Even just from looking at two or three different signals here so far, I've already learned so much when it comes to other people's trading ideas. And, you know, maybe now I'll try making a trade with a bit wider of a take profit and, and stop loss. And I could even experiment if I wanted with taking a trade and not at, not even putting in a take profit or stop loss like uh, Land Paul is doing here because there is no 
financial impacts to my wallet besides just paying gas fees, which of course on San Aris is uh, run on the ZK Sync era uh, network. So gas fees are absolutely tiny. Um, so that's another huge advantage. It really gives you that, that room to be creative and really experiment get your hands dirty um, exactly while, while learning from incredible traders around you. Really well said. And you can also look at uh, the battle button at the top there and you can actually see uh, everyone who has participated so far in the new epoch, which just opened uh, three days ago on the 8th. Um, if you scroll down a little, you should be able to see some info. Yeah, so these are leaderboards sorted in three different ways. Uh, you can see the people who have the highest average performance on the left side. You can see the overall positive perform performance and then the overall negative performance. So whether you're looking to find traders to align with or traders to counter trade, these are great ways to find them because you could open up any of them and see individually, you know, how often they're wrong or how often they're right. And, and then basically track them accordingly and use them as signals for how you'd like to modify your, your own trading strategy. I, I think it's really amazing um, to look at this. And, and just remember, these, these are leaderboards to win free crypto. So they're happy to have their trades out in public because if they maintain their, you know, Tyler here in number one, the number one spot, or uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, LL We Truck in, in the second column. I think those two columns get free crypto if they maintain their top spots because they would be the winner of that epoch and they'd see free crypto end up in their wallets if, they, if they're number one at the end of the epoch. So it's, it's pretty cool for everyone involved. That's, uh, that's really awesome. So I see the incentive of actually continuing to trade in that respect. You know, if you are on the top of the leaderboard, you can be rewarded crypto. One of the other things I noticed when I was uh, reading your white paper, I believe it was, is that apparently professional entities can actually scan, you know, the, the top performers on Sanar and uh, offer them opportunities as well. Do you have any, any more insights into that? I know it's pretty vague here. You can actually contact them. Many people will leave like their Twitter or they'll mm. say, they'll use the same handle. I've noticed a lot of people have a Twitter or slash X handle uh, and they use the same name on uh, Sanar so that they can be contacted and end up reaching out for collaborations or join trading groups together uh, so that they can team up and you know constantly help each other find the best opportunities. This is a, an example of someone who made an incredible call, right? Like they closed it pretty much right at the bottom. In fact, they might have actually had a, no, they didn't have a stop loss or a take profit as far as I see. They just, they, they 10X leveraged uh, a short on Rune. So they, they opened a sand set, meaning they're betting for the price to go down. Uh, they 10X leveraged, the price went down 25% or so. So their overall leverage performance was 250%. That's one of the best I've seen. Um, and this was from Diane. I'm curious if Diane ended up actually having notes or anything. We can look at it another time. But regardless, these are the kind of, of predictions that we really value at San R because people are making these trades in real life all the time. We just finally get transparency into the exact time that they opened and closed and how well they really did. Um, and she almost certainly won some free crypto for this trade alone uh, that others may have uh, you know, noticed and are now following for following her on and she has a, a better reputation not just on san r but across all of her socials as a result of this that's all that's that's fascinating it's and i i would love to uh, dive more and see what i can uncover about her her trading thesis for this particular one because that is a huge amount of profit so that's another question that i wanted to um to ask you here is what is kind of the relationship between san r and uh social media right now all right do we have the capabilities of sharing our our trades or or yep. what does that look like yeah, you can click on the share button on any of your trades, uh, whether it's currently open or closed, and you can you can automatically put it up on social media. And then our own account, we're constantly scouting for some of the best trades. So there's a good chance the Santa R app X account has already found one of your most successful trades and, and shown it to the audience. And we give you full credit, you know, identifying who you are and when you when you started the trade, when it ended, uh, and, and basically giving you props. So you can do so yourself, or you can you can basically um, wait for one of your best trades and see that the Sanar account has promoted that uh, prediction for you. Well, so another incredible um, incentive to really get on here and um, start your trading journey. Um, just lastly here, I'm, I'm playing around with the, the top keys and taking a look at everyone who does participate on Sentiment and taking a look just from filtering the performance. You can see people here are in profits in multiple thousands of percent. Uh, you can also, um, you can also uh, sort by signals and profit and 
plenty of people. I mean, the the number of trades that they've actually put in may not be super high, but even with four trades, having a hundred percent win rate is is pretty decent here. And you can scroll down and get better sample sizes and all that. Like this one here, placed 111 trades, was profitable 82% of the time. It's um, already as, as the pop or as the base grows, um, you know, you're really going to be able to get connected with high level traders here. And I think right now, more than any other time, you know, we're still quite early on sentiment or on Sanar. And just from uh, the position of, you know, wanting to invest in these specific traders, looking at it from the social vi perspective, you know, you can be very early and, and scoop up some, some keys of traders who are incredibly successful for a very, very discounted price as well. So I'll say this, especially in choppy market conditions, like we're seeing right now where markets are flat. This is where the, the good traders really separate from the bad. When markets are all, all going up together, everyone's going to look like they're, they're geniuses and, and making a lot of great predictions. But when you're seeing markets go like this, which they have for the last three months, there are a lot of people who are getting 80% right and a lot of people who are only getting 20% of them right. Um, and that's where you really start to see the standouts uh, come to fruition and, and you find, find the traders who really know what they're doing for the long run. So just looking at the last three months in particular, you can really see uh, you know, which, which traders are, are doing their research, know what they're doing and are willing to share, which is really cool. And it's, it's a really new thing here in the social five space, like friend tech. I mean, uh, I, I think this stuff is going to catch on more and more. And I hope that everyone watching finds some use out of it. hundred percent. And just as a, another bit of insight here from my perspective is when, when you're trading, even a 50% win rate is incredible. You can, you can establish a career as a trader off of a 50% win rate. So, um, just, you don't necessarily have to find the people who are winning hundred percent of the time. If they have a large enough sample size, and if their profit to loss ratio is is strong, like uh, Land Paul, like we've already referred to once here, he wins fifty just over fifty percent of the time, and his total performance is almost a thousand percent. You really see, understand real quick, you know how important it is to be consistent, have a solid um, risk reward ratio, and to just continue to learn. And that being here and being able to analyze how other traders, how successful traders are doing just that, really sets you up for a lot of success in the future. Yeah, he's probably leveraging his confident trades more than his not so confident trades because he's only a little over half the time, correct? But he's still up tons and tons uh, percentage wise. And it's probably because he's he's been uh, doubling down on the ones he feels really strongly about, which is smart. And that's how you can make money, even if you're only right about half the time. Um, and going, yeah. if you want to go back to the leaderboard really quick, I wanted to show one other thing. Please, yeah. If you click on uh, signals and profit, and sort by the opposite direction, by descending or ascending. Yeah, so these are all the people who've never gotten anything right. Scroll down to someone who's actually made like multiple signals. Uh, go a little further to like the next page. Keep going. Here we there's go. one, there's a few. So like 73 signals, the uh, 141st row. Right here. So yeah, so they've made 73 signals. They're right only 33% of the time. Uh, we're not calling anyone out because they're using just their address as their uh, their name. So, you know, apologies if this is you watching, but we're just trying to use an example as um, someone who you can actually potentially use as a counter signal, if you'd like. Someone who always gets, not always, but often gets the markets wrong over a large sample size. That may be someone you want to take into account. Um, let's say you have like three guys that you really follow because they're correct a lot and three guys you follow because they're not correct a lot. And you see that the correct ones are kind of moving in this direction and the incorrect ones are moving in this direction in terms of their predictions. So like the correct ones think market's gonna go up, incorrect ones think market's gonna go down. Pretty good sign right there that you probably are gonna benefit from betting in favor of the markets at that very moment because the ones with a good track record are predicting up and the ones without a good track record are predicting down. So that's another idea as to how you can use this tool really effectively to make real money. It makes a ton of sense. And um, a couple of things that are just coming to mind here as well. First of all, this trader here, you can see their win rate is only 36% and they're over almost 600% in profit. Um, so again, another example on how um, their win rate does not necessarily dictate their success and how you can be um, highly successful with only winning a third of the time. Uh, but you can also, with Center, I'm realizing you have the ability to see how a trader is improving or getting worse essentially because you can click on their profile and you can see firsthand, you know, when they first got onto the space, they may have only they may have been consistently losing, but then after some time, they 
you know, began to consistently win, um, you can pull all that apart and see what changes they made. Um, you know, it could be enough and impress you enough and align with you enough to actually want to go ahead and buy their key so you can get more up-to-date current information. Um, but there just really is so much room here to be creative. And from only spending maybe a handful of hours browsing the site so far, every time I log in, I'm, I'm realizing more and more how much potential this has to really truly add so much value to my, my trading game here. So Brian, I'm curious, was there any other important features you wanted to discuss here? I know there is the idea of creating a watch list. Are you familiar with that one? Any recommendations on how we might be able to um, you know, navigate that idea? Yeah, I mean, the little stars next to each of their names on the right here, uh, second, second to furthest right, you can just click on them if you want to add them to your watch list and you can quickly just collect names that you want to add uh, to your watch list. You can click on one and you'll see what I mean. Just one of the stars. Let's do that. Yeah. Oop. Here we go. So now click they're part of your watch list. And then if you go to your, uh, I believe it's under your profile, you can just look at your watch list and, and then they they're instantly added. Perfect. So that's just Perfect. an easy way to aggregate all of the key people, whether you're collecting uh, individuals who are very strong or, or not so strong. Uh, it can be a, a very helpful way to just quickly find the people you need and check on them on a weekly basis. Fantastic here, Brian. So maybe the last thing I'll ask you is, um, I noticed that there's an invite section here. Uh, is there any alpha behind that that you might be able to share with us? I think this is for just sharing with people you know and spreading the word, which is of course very important to us. It allows you to um, use invite codes and you earn real Ethereum uh, when someone signs up using that code. Um, and I believe it's over time as they continue to use it, you make more and more. They're like your permanent referral. So it's a great way um, to not only spread the word because you like it and you want to share it because you have friends who can benefit, but you also make money in the process. Many of you who've used referral codes in crypto are already quite familiar with how this works. And uh, we, we try to reward the people who help bring new people to the platform. I, I love that. I think um, having that ongoing incentive um, of like the revenue share, essentially, of, of sharing a percentage of the profits of any invitees, if you will, is, is tremendously powerful. And um, I'm really excited about it. So how, how can one get involved with Sanar right now? What does that process look like? Yeah, it's as simple as going to sanar.app. Uh, you'll also, if you check out our X handle, sanar underscore app, you'll find plenty of invite codes there that you can use in case you can't find one. Uh, message us on Santiment feed and we'll be happy to give you one. And uh, you basically just click on launch app, connect your, your wallet and get started. Make sure you have just a little bit of Ethereum in your wallet, very little. It's not an expensive platform to use at all. And uh, you'll be able to see everything that Travis, Travis sees in front of him, which has been quickly start making predictions, which has been a game changer. And uh, if you have any interest in trading at all, strongly, strongly recommend you checking this out. Um, just the potential to improve as a trader is massive. And maybe just to close it off here, Brian, one last question that I'll share with you is from your own experience. I mean, you've dedicated a good chunk of your life currently to the, the world of, of trading in crypto. Why might somebody want to invest their time and energy into learning how to trade crypto um, more efficiently? No, I mean, it's the whole, the whole concept of earning money through trading is all about efficiency. If you have the option between doing it inefficiently versus efficiently, I think most people are going to choose the latter. Um, you want to use tools that give you transparency and are not misleading. And there's a lot of misleading information out in the crypto world. So what Sanar does is basically just take the veil off, give you all the info you need with a blockchain backed signal to, to help guide you into becoming a better trader. And uh, I think that's what so many people are looking for now, especially in a world where there's so much misinformation. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing behind the curtains with Sanar. You've got people trying to win real crypto prizes and they are transparently giving their predictions in order to, to reach their goal of winning those prizes. So. You're not going to get fake info. It's all right there in front of you and you will become a better trader the more you, you track what other people are predicting while on their quest to, to win money. I love that. And I know the story is as old as time. People get sucked into following signals off um, influencers on X or, or whatever other social media that they, they routinely use. And it's, it's tempting because the allure is real. If all you're seeing is somebody shill their thousand X plays, obviously it's difficult to, to not envy that. Um, but here you can actually verify the information that you're receiving, see if the, the person who's giving the signal is, is actually um, credible and yeah, not only follow their signals if you'd like, 
but learn exactly what went into making that decision in the first place because everything's transparent and available to see on chain. And I think that's pretty spectacular. Awesome, man. Well, hey, um, before I stop this recording, any final um, points that you wanted to uh, to share with us um, before we sign off? All set. No, I, I look forward to hearing the response to people's personal experiences with Sanar. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are about the platform and the markets in general. We're happy to hear from you and uh, we're here to help make sure that you can connect to Sanar and begin making predictions yourself.